Today on Nerd Out, the Sunday Swap ISO. Welcome back to Nerd Out, the show where we take a look at Cardano and we break it down, but we don't dumb it down. Today we're talking about the Sunday Swap ISO. So, need to know info. You go to dripdrops.io to claim your Sunday tokens if you participated in the ISO by staking to the ISO pools. This will start on March 1st at epoch time at the earliest. It will probably start a few minutes after that. Uh, the reason is we need to check, configure the drip drop systems, make sure all is good. We'll explain a little bit more about this later in the video. Also, need to know info, there is no rush. The ISO rewards are already loaded into the drip drops database and they do not expire for a full year. Um, any unclaimed rewards after a year will be made available through some Sunday swap owned process. So if you choose not to go through drip drops, that's fine. Uh, you can get them through Sunday swap a year later. So what changes are we making in drip drops for Epoch 324 on March 1st? So drip drops will go into maintenance mode a few hours before the start of 324. This is because we have to make some changes to our setup to make sure that people get their Sunday tokens efficiently. Um, we'll also set any pending drip drops transactions that you've already done. Uh, we'll, we'll give them a little while to, to finish after we've gone into maintenance mode, but then we will set them to timed out if we haven't received payment on them for a bit. So we want them to clear, but we really need to clear out all the old uh, drip drops transactions before we start doing this Sunday only drop. So the Sunday only drop will be enabled for two to three days, and this allows us to serve the most amount of people the fastest. So there's a couple parameters in drip drops we're going to be tweaking. Uh, the first is token bundle size. So token bundle size is how many users per transactions do we bundle. Typically that's three. We package three users into, into every transaction. Because we're only dropping Sunday, we can move that number up to 40. So we can serve 40 different Sunday ISO participants with every transaction we put onto the chain. Also, the token bundle timeout goes from one minute to three minutes. This token bundle timeout is how long we wait for payments to arrive before we just send out the transaction anyway. So typically in drip drops, like let's say we see one person pay, and then after a minute, we haven't seen any more payments come in, we'll go ahead and put that one user's transaction on the chain with you know a smaller transaction size. But typically we wait to try and get all three people into one transaction. So now we're gonna wait three minutes to hopefully see up to 40 people have their payments come in for those uh, fees. Also the payment timeout, we're gonna move from six hours to 24 hours. And this is because there's likely gonna be a lot of people that come in, they do their claim process, and then they're like, oh, time to pay. They pull up Daedalus, oh, I forgot to sync it. And so we don't want their their timeout timing out. We we want to give them a little extra time, so they get 24 hours to get their payment onto the chain. Also, there's going to be probably a whole lot of load on the chain, so transactions will take a little longer to get your payment in. And so we want to give you some extra time there. Um, then after those two to three days, we will set the system back to normal mode where you can get all of your typical drip drops tokens plus Sunday tokens will also be available in there. So if you want to wait and just do one claim during the whole epoch period that will be available towards the end of the epoch. Um, overpayments and refunds are not going to happen until our backlog is cleared. So do not pay twice and I wish I didn't have to say this but do not send us your entire wallet funds. Hands off the send all button please. So let's dive deep. This is Nerd Out Deep Dive. So let's take a look at a typical drip drops transaction. And these, there's a whole lot of UTXOs eaten up by the token buckets. So on the input side over here on the left, we have all of these token buckets coming into the transaction. And then on the output side, we have all those same token buckets at the bottom where the change goes back to. And then in the middle, we have the three users. This first user just pulled drip. 
um, and then the other two pulled a bunch of different tokens. And so because of all of these UTXOs on the input and the output dealing with all these various tokens, that eats up a lot of the, the drip drops transaction space. And so that's what that's taken up with. Now if we look at a how a Sunday token is going to look differently, there's going to be a lot more of these payment inputs coming in, and then we'll only have the one token bucket coming in on the input side. So we can accommodate a whole lot more payments because we have less token buckets to deal with. And then on the output side, we can make a whole lot of payments to people, and then we just have one output back to the token bucket. So we can get, we've calculated we can get 40 uh, users into that transaction. And so that's, um, that's what we've been able to, to calculate, and that should help us serve as many people as we can as fast as we can. And that's all I've got, so with that, nerd out. <laughs>